Hello, chicas. So let's look at question number three. It's a speed distance time question. Let's read it. So the distance from Fulbeck to Gambi is 10 miles. It's already annotated. The distance from Gambi to Horton is 18 miles. So they've been annotated. Um, Raksha is going to drive from Fulbeck to Gambi first, like that. And then she will drive from Gambi to Horton. She leaves Fulbeck at 10 a.m. So 10 zero zero like that she drives from Fulbeck to Gambia at an average speed of 40 miles per hour she wants to get to Horton at 10 35 work out her average speed that she needs to drive from Gambi to Horton so that's kind of like the final thing that we need to work out it's a three mark question so um I've got everything annotated, so that's taken care of, that's done, that's done, it's kind of giving us like, extra information. The first thing I can get any work out of, so I can start working out, is this bit here. So she leaves Fulbeck at 10, she drives from Fulbeck to Gambia at an average speed of 40 miles per hour. So I know between Fulbeck and Gambia she's doing 40 miles per hour. So this is obviously a speed, distance, time question. So I'm just doing my triangle. So in this case, for the first part of her journey, I've got her speed and I've got her distance. So I could work out the time that she takes to drive between Fulbeck and Ganby. So to work out time, I'm going to do, obviously we would cover the time square. And I would like to do distance over speed. So it's distance over speed. So the distance is 10 miles and the speed is 40 miles per hour. So that's going to simplify to a quarter. Um, a quarter of an hour. Which is very important. Uh, okay, so a quarter of an hour. You guys hopefully know that's actually 15 minutes. So this means for me that she's going to reach Gambi at uh, 10.15. Like that. So I always like to annotate whatever I find out I annotate. Maybe helps out a bit. Great. So uh, now between Gambi and Horton, I know she wants to reach Horton at 10.35 because the question tells me that. So I need to be here at 10.35. 35 and this gives me 20 minutes but because we're working in miles per hour we have to convert these minutes into hours so that's going to be 20 minutes out of 60 in an hour and that would simplify to a third of an hour these 20 minutes because okay, we're working in miles per hour great so now let's think about what we're doing here we have uh, our time and we've got our distance we're gonna have to work out the speed that she drives at so now we're going between Gamby and Horton so it's asking us for the speed that's what we're doing because that's what we've got information for so to work out speed, I'm going to do uh, distance over time. Okay, so the distance is 18 miles and the time is uh, one third of an hour. So obviously it's a division. So I'm going to say 18 divided by one over three. Calculate, calculate, calculate. Um, I'm getting that is 54 miles per hour so that is my final answer okay um next qu uh, clips i'm going to do are i think 10 15 and 20 if i'm not mistaken okay so i'll see you later bye